Hello everyone. Today is Monday, September 23rd, 2019. The topic to speak is the most effective way to deal with anger. From now on, those who are interested in Buddhism listen particularly to the explanation for understanding. I will talk about how to deal with anger. If you want to deal with anger, we must use wisdom to consider what I say. Don't use worry as much as go to deal with anger because no one has ever succeeded in dealing with anger, even one person, by trying to find ways to deal with anger. In reality, interest in Buddhism is an easy matter to understand because no one complicated. Just open your heart and accept, and gradually consider it often. It will create understanding and seep into our hearts until finally the wisdom arises, with the wisdom to mention. That's it. Knowing our thoughts to end a false suffering, the person who will be able to understand the subject that I'm going to talk about the following must be wise and want to achieve nirvana in this life. You will have the opportunity to completely overcome your anger, unless that you just want to listen to this story and see that how will he deal with anger that shows that you are interested or perhaps too stupid to understand this. I'm sorry for saying this. You know, don't think that Everyone on this planet can handle anger. The thinking of wanting to deal with thoughts, the thinking of wanting to deal with anger, the thinking of dealing with depression and anxiety, and in the end is the thought of wanting to end a false suffering. Those who will succeed in every story that I mention. Must be a person with the following qualifications: one, must be a very intelligent person; two, don't want to be bored anymore; and three, want to achieve nirvana in this life. When you have the opportunity to listen to this story, you have to ask yourself first: Did you meet these three requirements? From now on. I will speak for you, understanding, and please consider along as I said over and over again until it goes deep into your heart. Then you will understand it, and finally you will succeed in everything which you want. In Buddhism, we study only the subject of the mind. We did not study about human existence. The Buddhism taught. Everything on this planet is soulless. It's not an ego. Our true self, it does not really exist. What you see right here now in everyday life, from birth to death, it does what happened to the mind for awareness. The mental phenomena. It doesn't have human being or animal or object occur to know. The mind acts in perception. No human being accept recipient to know. For example, let's say, you say, I see my wife. We see our children. We have cars. We have houses. We have treasure, etc. Can you realize that? There is only the thought that want to say, we have a wife. We have a car. We have a house. Everything we are talking about is in the idea, and the idea it doesn't belong to us. The thoughts don't belong to anyone on this planet. Thoughts are thoughts. The idea has no explanation. If you want to prove that, what it is, we have to use the idea to think, and think over and over again to find the answer. In the end. It will end up thinking back and forth endlessly until you die from this world. 
And from now on, please say, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm very suffering. Everything you are saying is just only an idea that you want to say, I have anger, I have suffering. We cannot find anger, we can find suffering. Because everything you talk about is in the thought. Knowing our thoughts is not a practice method. It's a matter of nature. Everything I have said above, you have to listen and listen again, and listen and listen again, and have to consider as I repeat over and over again and repeatedly. If you only to listen to what t h e t i m e it has not yet reached your heart. You may have to listen more than 100 times because the knowing our thought is not as easy the way you understand. All r i g h t I said, it's not about teaching, not about practice, but it's a talk for you to listen in order to get the right understanding to the end. And in the end, you will know that you are thinking. And you will succeed in everything. Realizing our thought is an awful suffering. Please bear in mind.